Hello, hello, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I am very excited to go over the results for the MVP Open at Maple Hill. Going into this final round, I was very confident that Eagle was going to come away with the win, but Eagle wound up losing seven strokes to Adam Hames, and I was very, very shocked to say the least. Eagle was looking so good. He had a substantial lead going into this last round, and it was just a really bad round for Eagle. He was not staying focused off the tee, it seemed like. He wasn't really putting the disc where he wants to put the disc off the tee. And then he also wasn't making his putts, and that is just an absolute recipe for disaster. Uh, 58 is, I mean, I would have at most thought Eagle would shoot like a 54, 55. Eagle ends up shooting a 58, kind of throwing it away. I'm sure he's very displeased with his performance, but at the end of the tournament, he was a very good sport to Adam. You know, he shook his hand at the end and he paid him the respect that Adam deserves, and Adam, brought it together. It's not always about how you start, it's about how you finish. And yes, you can lose a tournament in the first round, but you can definitely also lose it in the last round, and, and that's what Eagle did. Now, he still played some really good golf, and he still had some really high ratings for two of these rounds, but Adam was obviously the more consistent player, and he turned the Jets on in the final round. And we'll just listen to some of this interview with Adam, because I think it's really nice, and I really like that all the post-produced coverage and the live coverage, you get to sort of hear the player's perspective reacting to their own win. I find it really enjoyable to watch and to listen to. So we'll just go over this a little bit and then we'll talk about it and then we'll wrap up the video. Before you got to that position though, you and your good friend Jeff Corns, you had a lot of conversation about how you're gonna put yourself in position. What were you guys talking about? You know, just play my game. You know, I had a uh, pretty solid, you know, back, uh, front five or back last five holes in the first round. So I knew if it came down to it, you know, I uh, had these last five dialed, and I like my chances coming down the stretch. And you know, just stay smooth, stay calm, just play my game how I've been. Take an extra second. Just a comment. With that being said, Adam did some shots that, at first glance, didn't always seem to make sense. Like um, he was throwing a zone on a few holes where the other players were throwing distance drivers just to hit the gaps, and Adam was really just playing like game plan disc golf. He wasn't really playing it. Um, sort of, you know, on site, site on scene disc golf. He already knew what he was going to do on each tee before he even got there. And I think that's a really good thing for Adam. And I think it's a really good thing for most players because you don't have to think about what you need to do. You already know what you need to do. And regardless of how the dynamics change and how the situations change, you just stick to that game plan and it's going to be a lot easier for you to stay focused. And when we saw that difference between Adam and Eagle, and even Ricky made a charge, but Ricky made a few mistakes and wasn't able to, to come all the way back. But uh, Ricky did make a good push at Eagle as well. Let's finish up this interview. Change tee box and you know try to convert the shot. So, did you ever think though coming in with such a deficit that you could actually hunt down and get past Eagle and the rest of the crew today? Uh, it's Maple Hill, so I don't ever count anyone out, and you know that's a lot. But you know I wasn't that, definitely not counting myself out today. You know I want to come out strong and. You know, start out really hot like I did, and uh, you know, just keep the pace going. And you know, I did it. So. React to this statistic: you're only the fourth person in history to take down a national tour and a pro tour in the same season. React to that. You know, it feels good. I'm working pretty hard this year, and you know, just to win a national tour feels great. But to finally get a pro tour, you know, it's a dream come true. So. And to do it here at Maple Hill is, and this, I can't pick a different tournament you know, to want to win besides like a major. This is the one I wanted to win the most. So. Give the final shout out to Manaqua and everyone else in Wisconsin. Yeah, shout out Manaqua, shout out Lac de Flambeau, shout out Sandy Point in the Northwoods Open going on this week. Uh, I saw Dan Schlitter at a little lead. Uh, I haven't looked at the scores, but hope all is well up there and uh, can't wait to get The really good uh, maturity out of Adam. He sounds really, really confident in this game. And where we all first really learned about Adam was at the Hall of Fame Classic when he played against Kelvin Heimberg and they had that epic playoff and Adam made some of the most ridiculous putts that have ever been made in the sport of disc golf. Now we have him coming to Vermont. Do you guys think he'll be able to take that similar style of golf he played at Maple Hill and carry that over to Brewster Ridge and Fox Run? I'm really excited to see if he's able to do that. Now, do you think Eagle is gonna bounce back? Do you think he's gonna to wanna to take a break? He seemed to be pretty hard on himself after the loss. He was getting uh, you know, vocally upset during the round. Hopefully Eagle's able to bounce back. I think Eagle's superior distance is going to give him a huge advantage, especially on Fox Run distance is massive there. But with all that being said, 
Leave your comments in the comment section down below. It is your boy, Iceberg Dylan, and take care.